Hi, my name is Michael Shea. We just received another question about the therapeutic relationship in biodynamic practice. And I'd like to say that if you've been looking at these videos and you've been seeing how I've been answering some of these questions, you've already begun to find out that there's some significant differences between the biodynamic practice as I teach it and Valerie Gora teaches it in my uh, training community here and all the other schools of craniosacral therapy. We have a focus on embryology, we have a focus on primary respiration or the long tide as, as some of you know it. We have a focus on stillness and we also have a considerable focus on the therapeutic relationship. Now, I know a lot of you out there have learned a lot, you have a lot of experience in doing manual therapy or some form of body work or craniosacral therapy um, with your clients and you probably feel pretty grounded in the therapeutic relationship because I know you have a lot of skills. But we have also um, added some different skills based on what's called the new science, the new science areas called social neuroscience, in which the therapeutic relationship between an adult and an adult has been called a precise similarity to the infant mother relationship. Now that's an amazing statement to make because if you look at how uh, an infant's brain grows and develops, it grows and develops in relationship to the mother's brain. And the researchers are now saying that the adult-adult relationship is similar. So we have to begin to understand and begin to realize that when two adults get together in a therapeutic relationship, that both of their nervous systems are merging. And as a matter of fact, both of their cardiovascular systems are merging. So what we tend to do, what we tend to focus on in biodynamic practice is the way in which we can actually sense the therapeutic relationship occurring on a moment-to-moment -moment basis with the heart and the vascular system. The autonomic nervous systems of both the client and the therapist, they get hooked up, they get connected, and the way we feel that is to drop our awareness down into our body and especially into our heart. So one of the first things that we do in biodynamic practice is we train you to sense the movement and activity of your heart. To let that be the centered focus of attention periodically, on and off, during the entire 45 minutes or an hour that you're actually treating your, your client. This will then allow you to expand into a three-dimensional awareness of your entire cardiovascular system. And that way, it creates what the researchers call a resonance with the client. So the client then begins to resonate with your central nervous system and with your cardiovascular system. So that's basically the meaning of that, where they can begin to down-regulate their brain, they can begin to down-regulate their heart and vascular system by the mere fact that you're paying attention through what is called interoceptive awareness, or cardioception is the current word. You're simply listening to your heart, but you're listening to the movement and the activity of your heart. It's a very, very simple thing to do in practice. It simply begins with paying attention to your breathing and then paying attention to the pulse, but not at your wrist and not at your neck, but rather right directly at your heart. So. That's the question for today, and as we go along, we've got this column called Ask Mike, and we'll answer these questions as they come in. Thank you.